after you've weighed your flask, add sodium sulfate into the flask of the organic layer. As you can see, as the water has been removed, the organic layer becomes clear. Make sure that you remove the water from your organic layer because otherwise it will affect the weight and therefore your yield of the entire experiment. Now, when you are going to filter through the organic layer, you'll need to put the filter into the round bottom flask and filter paper, which you will use dichloromethane, the organic solvent originally, to stick it to the side. Then you'll be putting a cotton plug in the funnel. Just kind of use your finger to stuff the cotton plug down into the funnel. As you can see, the solid lays on top of the filter and the liquid will go through into the bottom. You can rinse your filter with dichloromethane to make sure that you remove all of the solution from the flask and from the solid on the top of the filter. You need to make sure that you turn on the water behind the rotovap and when you're closing the stopcock, close it very slowly so there's a minimal amount of bubbling seen. Remember that dichloromethane, your organic solvent, is a highly volatile liquid and will bubble off very quickly if you close the vent too fast. In the meantime, benzoic acid is ready to be filtered. As you can see, this is the biphenyl that has been formed and then we've removed the organic solvent, dichloromethane. Now, since you've already weighed the empty round bottom flask, you're just going to weigh the combination of the round bottom flask with the biphenyl and subtract out to get the weight of the biphenyl. Make sure before you remove or transfer the compounds from the Buckner funnel to the watch glass that you weigh out the watch glasses and record their weights. Then transfer the compounds to the watch glasses and leave them in the oven for 5 to 10 minutes so that all the excess water is removed. Then you can weigh the compounds on the watch glass in the back of the room to record the total weight. Here we have the biphenyl, the benzoic acid, and the P-nitro aniline. 